Good day everyone! Today, you will learn on how to write polynomial functions in standard form and factored form. Let's say the given is y equals x raised to 4 minus x cubed minus 9x squared minus 11x minus 4. So you are going to write this in factored form. So you may use factoring or apply the rational root theorem. Let's try up applying the rational root theorem. The constant is negative 4. So the possible rational roots are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, and positive negative 4. From that, we're going to choose 1. If the remainder is 0, that means that is one of the rational roots. Let's take negative 1. Now, take all the coefficients. 1 negative 1, negative 9, negative 11, negative 4. Then, bring down 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Write it here. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. Negative 7 times negative 1 is 7. Negative 11 plus 7 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1 is 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. That means negative 1 is one of the rational roots. Therefore, the linear factor is x plus 1. Again, negative 1 is one of the rational roots, so the linear factor of that is x plus 1. Let's continue. Since negative 4 is the constant, so still the, uh, the possible rational roots are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, and positive negative 4. Let's choose negative 1 again. Now, bring down 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. Negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1 is 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. That means negative 1 is one of the rational roots. So, the linear factor of that is x plus 1. Let's continue. Negative 4 is the constant. Therefore, the possible rational roots are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 4. Let's choose again negative 1. Then, bring down 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1 is 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So, negative 1 is one of the rational roots. So, the linear factor is x plus 1. Now, the coefficients are 1 and negative 4. So, this is already linear, which is x minus 4. Therefore, y equals x raised to 4 minus x cubed minus 9x squared minus 11x minus 4 in factored form that becomes y equals since there are 3x plus 1 we can say y equals the cube of the quantity x plus 1 times the quantity x minus 4. How about y equals the quantity x plus 5 times the quantity 2x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 2. We are going to write this in factored form. It is very easy because we are just going to multiply the quantity x plus 5 times the quantity 2x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 2. So first, let us multiply x plus 5 by 2x minus 3. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 5 is 10x. Then, negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Then, simplify. Bring down 2x squared. 
10x plus negative 3x is 7x. Then, bring down minus 15. So, we have 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. Then, we're going to mul multiply this by x plus 2. So, 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. 7x times x is 7x squared. Negative 15 times x is negative 15x. Then, 2x squared times 2 is 4x squared. 7x times 2 is 14x. Negative 15 times 2 is negative 30. Then, simplify. Bring down 2x cubed. 7x squared plus 4x squared is 11x squared. Negative 15x plus 14x is negative x. Then, bring down minus 30. Therefore, y equals the quantity x plus 5 times the quantity 2x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 2 in, in a standard form that becomes y equals to x cubed plus 11x squared minus x minus 30. Thank you so much.